Good morning. It's uh, almost ten past seven. It's uh, Tomar. I'm leaving today. Going to Alvajazera. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but I already had a reservation. So I don't need to worry about the place tonight. It's about 30 kilometers again today. The weather, well, at this moment there is no clouds to see. So I think the temperature will be quicker to work up than yesterday when I was starting in Golega. Let's hope it won't be too hot. I'm going to change the camera to the other side. One moment. Workout restored. Now you can see where I'm walking. I just slept at the beginning of the town. When you walk into the from when you walk in from the Camino, there's only one street, the first albergue, that's the one where I spent my night, because there was still, like, as I explained yesterday, problems with the rooms. Workout pause. Workout restored. I need to cross here. I have to wait. One minute before the light goes green. Ah. Workout pause. And then another pilgrim. I think that's the Korean lady from Golega from the end. You can see blue sky, no clouds to see. A little bit more traffic here already in the morning compared to the Lega yesterday. So 13, 11, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Workout restored. So, Kolega. Yesterday, tomorrow, today, and when I start tomorrow, I think I can pronounce the name of the place that I start tomorrow. Still very quiet, around 7 o'clock here. My flag of my province, one end of the piece that I tied to my rucksack was loose, so I had to rearrange it. A small talk, filling up the holes. And you can see people already at the cafe for coffee and so on. 
so I will leave it to it and later today. Camino way. Yesterday they told me it's uh, a long stretch uh, alongside the river. Nee, it's for today, yeah. There's some at the Alberge. Yeah. The woman who walked before, she said today will be a nice day because she'll walk a long time aside the river. So not that much uh, through cities or so. So I'm hoping. More like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with an occasional uh, village.
when you go uphill, you also need to go downhill. 10%. going downhill it's uh, past nine o'clock oh, it's almost 9 30 on this Camino I already met more people than when I walked the four days from Lisbon last year at my first stop a woman from Korea Yesterday, a man from Norway. This morning, I walked the first, I think, 45 minutes with the, the Korean woman again. <laughs> she slept somewhere outside Tomar because everything was full. And just a little while ago, I passed by two other women from, from Venezuela and the other one Dutch they're also going to the same village today as I'm going I don't know if they have the same alberga or not but we will see so we're going downhill the way until now was slightly up and a little bit down, a little bit more up, a little bit more down, a little bit up. So now it's a steep way down. And here really goes those 10% coming here. Sharp turn right, sharp turn left. As, as you can see, still very sunny, no clouds up above, so it's nice to walk at this temperature, but it will get hotter and warmer and hotter when it's 12, 1, 2. Hello again, the Dutch guy. Okay, what goes down has to go up again. So, surprise, surprise. Straight up. And another 10% steep. As you can see, the drivers here really take advantage of these small roads and driving very fast. So I will stop again recording because Walking uphill, that steep, with the camera, no way. See you later.
Hello, again. It's uh, past two in the afternoon. Still need to walk six kilometers to Alvajazere. It's a long walk today. Almost the same as yesterday, but uphill, downhill. And it takes longer than yesterday. And it's really, really warm. So that's one of the reasons. Trying to... The road behind me. If you see it, now it's cobblestones. More like an ancient Roman road I'm walking on. It used to be also an ancient Roman road. Well, let's see to change the camera view to the other side. Okay. The road ahead, as I said before, it's a hot one today. And here you can see Caminos de Fatima, Carmelita Way. There are several roads going to Fatima. And this one here is the Carmelita Way. Before my lunch, there was a deviation from the Fatima route on the Camino Portugues. So the people who are walking to Fatima will split up from this Portuguese route going south and then turning right more to the west side of Portugal, more to the coast. There was also a road from Toma to Fatima, from the coast to Fatima also. So from all the four directions you can walk to Fatima. It's going uphill. The last six kilometers it's mainly going slowly up. The overnight stay is above 400 meters high, the sea level. Coming from 250 meters now, I think. So it's gradually going up, a little bit down, and then up again. I said, as I said before, it's more difficult than yesterday because of uphill downhill but that is also part of the Camino we have days really flat walking out of Lisbon until just before Santarem it's mainly flat Santarem you have to go uphill then downhill again to uh, Golega from Golega to Tomar. It's also a little bit up and down, but today a lot up and down, up and down. Okay, maybe I will talk a little bit later again. If not, then tomorrow again. Maybe some pictures after this one. Okay, bye bye.